parenting in lockdown. Let's be honest, it's not easy. And I think that we all have a better appreciation for teachers after this time and the incredible work that they do. My name is Lisa Shaw and I'm a mother of two boys, ages eight and five. And I'm gonna share with you a little bit today about the silver linings uh, that we found through creative exploration during the lockdown. I'm an artist, I'm a painter, and I get inspiration from nature. My recent paintings are inspired by my local river, the Fintorn River, and the flow of the water, and capture this flow through working with the essence of the paint, the liquid nature of it, pouring it, and having it move across the canvas, and then painting into that. I've also been working on a series this year of plastic rubbish floating in the seas, um, because I think this is something that is a big problem and a big concern at this time, and just kept on being very with me, and so I, I wanted to create something around that as well. I also um, started a business with my husband called Biomatrix Water, and we make floating ecosystems, which are like floating gardens for uh, canals or rivers and usually in cities. Um, and so I was used to having quite a lot of time for work and for my art. Um, since the boys were young, I'd had childcare. And so when the lockdown started, I was very overwhelmed and um, it felt very new. So with the kids, I decided to start with my inspiration from nature and see what kind of creative juice we could generate together. And so we started to work with natural materials and um, we made little gardens. It was the springtime and brought them inside and nests for eggs. We have ducks where we live. We're lucky to be in a rural location. And I know many parents in the city would have had quite a different experience. Um, and we made little origami boxes. And then the children had such a good time finding nature treasures to put in the boxes. And what I found was when we were doing these kind of creative projects, there was a certain presence and energy that came to us through them that helped to distract from the anxiety around the virus and the lockdown and help us just to enjoy the present moment and the surprises that could come from making together. Um, my son Griffin, who is five, has a very strong imagination and he just loves to play and to create his own little worlds for his animals or gnomes or fairies. And so we created uh, this tree house in our plants inside, just working with uh, bits of bark and moss. And um, we made a little ladder and had the gnomes climbing up and down and gathered flowers to decorate it. And it was a very simple and, and fun uh, project. There's an art project that everyone in lockdown could take part in that I heard about that was called Between Art and Quarantine. And in it, people imitated famous paintings, but just within their homes using the things that they had. And so we chose uh, paintings by Raphael and the kids had some wings left over from a Halloween costume. And they were the, the two cupids. And then uh, the next one, we were all together. Before having kids, I had enjoyed doing quite a lot of crafts as well as my painting. And in the evenings, I would often be making rugs or knitting or that sort of thing. And so the lockdown actually gave us a little more time and space to be able to explore things like that again. And my son Jasper, who's eight, um, was very open and excited to learn these crafts. And so together we would knit and 
we would sew and um, it actually awakened in me um, a different kind of creative juice and and it's continued throughout this whole year that even after the kids have gone to bed I find myself still wanting to knit still wanting to sew and making things and so that's been a kind of unexpected uh, benefit of this time as well part of the way into the lockdown in the spring I injured my lower back I had a disc injury and my hip and I just had extreme pain this was a especially challenging time with everything else and I found that I felt much more tired and just getting through the day was a real chore. I've had um, chronic illness in my life and chronic pain since I was um, a young adult and so I'm used to having pain and I've learned some techniques for dealing with it but this was even more extreme. Um, but one of the things I found is that when I'm engaged in creativity, it really helps to calm my mind and take my awareness off of the pain. And it kind of brings in this, this creative juice that feeds me in a different way. And I think part of it is just the presence as well. When you're focused on something that you love and that is creative, it's possible to be um, much more aware and living in the present moment. And I think everybody is innately creative and it's just about finding what that is for you. Is it, is it listening and singing um, to music? Is it dancing? Is it cooking? Is it creating things? In my work with Biomatrix, we've been to many waterways that are heavily polluted often with um, raw sewage flowing into them. And then through putting in floating ecosystems, um, we can see the power of nature to clean the water and they become places with full of beauty, thriving plants and flowers. And so I like to think of this as an example of, you know, from the shit can come the beauty and this transformation and depth that can come from having been in an experienced, you know, the difficult time, the beauty is that much more special coming out of it. Um, I think of this as deep beauty, beauty that is not superficial. And from the work perspective, it's about sustainability and it being ecological in the way that it's made, in the way that it's um, acting and in its, uh, ability to, as we say at Fintorn, co-create with nature. So in this lockdown experience and through this severe pain, what were these opportunities um, to find the silver lining, to find that deep beauty? And I would say that for me, it came with having these creative explorations with the kids. I realized that I was lucky that I didn't have to work full time during the lockdown. I know that many parents were juggling having to work full time with parenting and homeschooling. And so having this space allowed us to explore in a different way. Um, we made some creative uh, foods and drinks. Um, usually in daily life, I just wouldn't have the time to do that sort of thing. And so making you know, rainbow smoothies and um, rice paper rolls full of different herbs and plants from the garden was um, a treat. A simple uh, nature activity that I would recommend um, that anyone try because it was one of the ones that was particularly meaningful to us was making nature mandalas. The kids have just gone back to school this week. And I must admit, I took a deep breath out <laughs> and it has been uh, quite a relief. But I also, I feel grateful for this time that we've had and in particular for the creativity that has had the opportunity to blossom. And I think that will uh, continue to 
inform and inspire us.